Of course, I get up early and leave to get on the road, so I beat traffic and I get stuck behind a semi. Awesome. All right, guys, we made it to the speedway. This was actually fairly easy to find. I'm not good with directions and I found it pretty easily, so that was really cool. Believe it or not, in all the years I've lived in Indiana, I have never been here before. My sister's been here before, but not me. Guys, I am literally so freaking tired. I didn't sleep at all last night. I kept having bad dreams that like something was gonna go wrong today. Like I would forget my product or I'd get like stuck in traffic. So I got almost no sleep. I woke up, well actually, sorry, I misspoke. I wanted to put like makeup on and I woke up today and I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. It was 4 a.m. and I was super exhausted. Like I said, I was already awake when my alarm went off because I was just like super nervous about today. But I'm sitting in the parking lot right now and they said that they're not gonna come get us until eight o'clock and I didn't get breakfast. <laughs> I wanted to be the first one in line to get like the number one wristband, but there's already a lot of people here. So I'm definitely not the first in line, which is okay. But um, it was so early that McDonald's was actually closed. I went to like, I went in through the drive-thru and they were closed. So I haven't had breakfast, haven't had anything to drink, but I was talking to the security guard that was letting everybody in and he said there's like an estimated 200 people that are going to come which for Indianapolis that's kind of weird because I would have thought thousands would have been here but yeah I guess we'll just have to see. I asked the guy I was like so are you excited that Shark Tank is happening and he said not really so <laughs> I thought that was funny. So this is really fun the guy or girl who parked in front of me won't turn their lights off and they're blinding me. All right, so they came to get us and they told us that we are going to another parking lot and basically to follow the cars in front of us. And it's kind of weird because all these cars were speeding in front of me, but they were there after me. And I wish that we would have gone in line because I think I was like number eight or 10 and all these people that came in behind me are now in front of me. So that's a little bit frustrating. This lady in front of me has been vlogging this entire time. She must have a YouTube channel too. If you see this video, tag yourself in the comments because this is pretty funny. We're both YouTubers. I'm not as dedicated as her though. She's been getting out of the car and like doing a lot more like outside walking around and showing the landscape and stuff like that. I'm too tired to get out of the car right now. Sorry guys. So we're supposed to stay in our car, but people are getting out and forming a line. I don't know why because we're literally in a parking lot. There's no one here from Shark Tank handing out like tickets or whatever. So I don't know what people are lining up for. I got out of the car because I love you guys and I wanted to show you just how many people are here right now. All right, update, I am still waiting. It's 7 a.m. and I think it's gonna be about 8 a.m. before they let us back, but they lined all of us up and I think that's the order that our numbers are gonna be, like the wristbands, I mean, which it kind of sucks because I was like number six and now I've been pushed back to like number 30 because they told us all to follow like the cars that were going out and everyone was just zooming out as fast as they possibly could, so all the numbers got mixed up. And the lady next to me in this orange car, she was actually here before me and now we're like way behind because all these cars cut in front of us. I'm just excited to do my pitch and get this going because I'm super hungry. I didn't eat breakfast, so yeah. My brain is like not firing as it should be. But after I do my pitch, I'm definitely gonna go and get some lunch here in Indianapolis because I'm gonna be starving to death. But yeah, nothing super exciting has happened so far. Everyone's lining up. I don't know why. They, I think they told us to stay in our cars, but I think they think that they are going to be first in line because they're outside their car. I don't know, but I'm staying in my car and I'm just going to see what happens from here. All right, so we are told we are moving again. This is the third parking lot that we will be going to and hopefully it's the final one because this is a little bit annoying. So let's see where we're going. I want to tell you guys, I'm actually not nervous right now, but it does come and go. I will be honest. There are moments where I feel like I'm going to faint and freak out, but my heart, you know, reminds me that I'm the expert in my company. 
I know what I'm doing. I know my product. I know myself. Um, I think it's just more so the fact that nobody likes to give these big presentations in front of people. It's human to feel super nervous. But I'm more so just proud of myself for showing up because four years ago, Shark Tank came here and I didn't even show up. I had just got off work from a 12 hour shift and I was tired and I told myself, oh, it's gonna be too busy, it's too far away, blah, 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 all these excuses, and I went home. But I am just so proud of myself for actually showing up today. I could be at home in my warm bed right now, chilling, watching TV, but instead I'm here chasing my dreams and doing what I love. And I really hope that what I'm doing today encourages you also to go out and chase your dreams. Thank you. Gosh, this is really far back here. What in the world? It feels like we've gone five miles. Where in the heck are we going? So some of the people that were over in the parking lot left their cars and now they're walking over here. I have no idea why they're walking over here. We were supposed to drive over here. This is a really long walk. I, wow, I feel bad for them. Thank goodness that it's like not raining or super hot. I, I don't know. It blows my mind what people do. Why would you walk all that way over there? They told us to drive over here. All right guys, here's the main entrance and there's literally people taking off running to be the first in line. I'm not that dedicated, so hats off to you guys. Welp, I can confidently say that I am not number eight anymore. I'm probably like number 50 or 60 at this point. So we've all been here for a minute. Uh, 
Um, so I want to introduce them because they're very hardworking. So this is Jen. She's our casting manager. Point, huh? We're on 15. <laughs> uh, and at that point, 
If you want to apply for season 16, you can do so later this year. Dollar or a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. You cannot ask for a licensing agreement. And I know some of you are like, oh no, that's what I wrote down. If you've seen the show, which everyone in this room says they have, every single person that walks into that room, into the tank, doesn't start with, yeah, I'd like a licensing agreement. You have to ask for money in exchange for equity. That is the Shark Tank rule. If you're like, oh, well, da da da, it has to be money in exchange for equity. And they'll even say, what's your ask in exchange for equity? So know that you can't ask for a dollar, um, and you need to ask only for what you need for the next step, whatever that next step is. There's a lot of money on Shark Tank, for sure, but it is not money tank. So I say that because you should not be asking for the next five steps. It should be for the next one step. For instance, if you have uh, like a brick and mortar and you want a franchise, Maybe say your investment is going towards the next two franchises, not the next 10. Because a lot of you, more than likely, have very high valuations. And if you've seen the show, they don't like that. Or they want to make sure you can back that ask up. And that's what I just said. Back that ask up. <laughs> ASK. Um, so you need to be able to, to today to justify to us, like, hey, if I'm asking for $500,000 for 10%, you need to know what that valuation is. That's a $5 million valuation. That's a lot if you don't have the sales to back it up. And some of you may say, oh, I just need manufacturing to get my, my product to market or what have you. That's fine. But again, you have to be able to justify it. And if you don't know how to um, calculate valuation, it's okay. I'm here to tell you how to do that. It's your ask divided by the equity you're willing to give up. $100,000 for 10% is a million dollar valuation. 500 for 10, five million. You get funky with the 17.5, whatever, then I have to pull out my calculator. But where I'm going with this is be able to back up your ask today. However, it's not set in stone. So for instance, if between now and if you film in September, everyone's business and needs are gonna change and, and everything. We've had people come in, you know, fly to LA, and the night before they pitch, they sell their company. It's just good business. Don't change anything for us. You know, 20,000 people apply each year. Maybe 88 make it to air. So you can do that math. It's very small. So you, the best thing for you to do today is make sure that you're not overvaluing your company, knowing you can change your ass as you move forward. With that said, you can only pitch one product or business today. You cannot go online and get another wristband. <laughs> Go online and apply if you want with a different product. If you have multiple SKUs of the same product, that's totally fine. But today is one business or product only. Uh, application. Food and samples. A lot of us have food allergies and food restrictions, so if we don't test or eat your sample, please do not be mad at us. We just have to make sure I'm not sending anyone to the emergency room today. If you move forward in the process, you will send samples in to the executive producers for them to cry. That's, that's how it works. All that said, today, if you want to leave a sample, you can, we might not ask for it. If you see someone leaving a sample and you don't, it doesn't mean that they did better than you. That's not how it works. We have to ship everything back to LA, and I can't be shipping giant products and whatnot. You can send them in later if you move forward. Also, do not leave your prototype with us. You need that. And do not send your prototype in because you need that. If you have a prototype, then we can figure out on your video, okay, we get it and whatnot. And then if you move forward, producers will discuss more about that with you. But do not send your samples in unless we ask. And also, we do not return samples. So make sure that if you leave a sample, you are okay leaving it and not getting it back. There's only one gentleman here today, that's Cy, but the rest of us are, are you know, female, so it doesn't matter who you pitch to, because we all know how the birds and the bees work, so you don't get to say, oh, Cy might get this back. No, you can pitch Ashley or Jeff, it doesn't matter. Um, support, I know a lot of you have support. That's awesome, we like the support. They're not allowed up here while you're pitching. You don't see grandma hanging out behind Mr. Wonderful on set, being like, yeah, go Johnny, go. Grandma hasn't even flown to LA because Grandma has not been told you're going on Shark Tank because well, we'll get to that in a minute, but you can't tell anyone anything. So if your support is here, that's great. They stay in those seats. The only people that come up to pitch are the people who are actually pitching. If you need help getting your setup, 
your support can come help you set up, but then they have to go sit down. Um, if you have someone modeling for you, that is okay. They can stay up there. But otherwise, they have to do stay in the seats. You cannot come up and film. There's no filming of these interviews. You can film from back here, but no one should be coming up, getting in anyone's face and filming. Um, the news is here. They will be filming. They've already covered some of this, which is exciting. They might cover more later today on the news, so you can talk to them all you want. <laughs> but for our purposes, from the, the casting team, you cannot film um, any of those interviews because we don't want anyone to be uncomfortable. Um, we did what happens next, July 26th. Oh, phone. So we, we will call you. We will email you. 